Okay, so just a quick tip video on how we can use component replace and a good example of where you might want to use it. Um, so as you can see here, we've got a circlip in the end of our pins here. Okay, and this is a library part. So if I wanted to come and edit this by starting a new sketch on the back face, you see we get this warning message coming up saying cannot modify a library part because it's out of the content center. So we need something that is sort of editable. So instead, we're going to place from the content center. We're going to find the same circlip. We're just going to click it down into space and we're going to choose the appropriate size. So this is a 50 mil one, but rather than leaving it a standard, which we'll just put it in as another library part file. Instead, we're going to put it in as custom. Okay. And this will then ask me to save it. So I can put that with whole, save that. And you see, I can just place that down into space. Okay. This one I can then double click on, start a new sketch and edit. So let me just put a point at the back here. And then I can use my hole tool to drill a hole into the back of it. Okay, nice and simple. So I've now got my circlip with a hole, but rather than deleting these two out here, and removing those constraints and then constraining in uh, two more versions of these. Instead, what I can do is just come to one of these circlips, right click on it, go to component, and if I just wanted to replace one of them, I could do replace, but if I want to replace both of them at the same time, I can choose replace all, okay? Then all I need to do is find my DIN 471 with hole, hit open and you'll see that the part is updated the hole is now in but more importantly the imate or constraints are maintained as well and then we can just delete out our spare parts or bill of materials are all correct brilliant thanks for watching